Hello, Keith Rock here at BenchMachinery.org. I got another uh, gear cutting job that has come in the shop that I've uh, agreed to help out a fellow viewer with. He contacted me a while back, said he had a uh, Bridgeport uh, head, and let's see exactly what this part comes off of. Uh, first off is Robert Hayes out in California. Uh, he's got a Bridgeport Series 1J head uh, with the old gearbox power feed. So the idler gear is warm worn out and the feeds are skipping and he needs a new gear. He uh, contacted uh, some people at Motion Industries, see if they could just order a gear with this configuration and unfortunately they couldn't order one, they didn't, couldn't have one in their system that they could order. So he asked me if I could help him make one. So uh, Robert actually helped me out. Um, you know, he, he sent along the old gear, but he also went ahead, he's got a lathe, he went ahead and made a new blank. So I saved me that step. Uh, but anyway, he sent this in. So let me zoom you in here, kind of show you the gear, what we got to do. And this is probably going to be a two parts video. First, we're going to be making a mandrel to hold it over on the dividing head, and then we'll actually go in and cut the, the teeth on the gear. So let me zoom you in here and show you what's going on. All right, so here's the original gear that he sent me. And yes, there is quite a bit of wear on it. Um, when he took it in, had them check it out, they determined it was a 16 pitch. Uh, of course, you can count the teeth as 27 teeth, and they determined it was a 14 and a half uh, degree pressure angle. Now, I like to confirm this stuff, so at least on the pitch, I've got a pitch gauge here, and yes, that is the 16 pitch, so that's right and uh, you can count the number of teeth. It's obviously 27 teeth. So I've got this little spreadsheet here that I use uh, when I'm making gears to kind of calculate a lot of the key measurements for me. You put in those three things, 16 pitch, 27 teeth, 14 and a half pressure angle, and it'll basically calculate everything else for you uh, on the spreadsheet. So anyway, I, I think we've got what we need. It tells me that I need to use involute cutter number four um, for a 16 pitch. I've got that cutter there. Uh, the other thing that I kind of needed to have to get started on this was my pins for measuring across uh, to get my, my check my diameter, the depth of cut to make sure it's right and it calculates what that measurement should be. But it tells me I need two pins that are 105 thousandths uh, to measure on. I have cut 16 pitch threads before. I've got two gauge pins there that are 105 thousandths. Uh, so anyway, we're ready to go as far as having what we need. Um, but before we get started, uh, the real, the, the first challenge I've got is, is work holding. Again, he's already made the uh, blank here uh, that we're going to cut this out of. Save me that trouble. Uh, but I don't have a good way to hold this over on my dividing head uh, to cut the teeth. So what I need to do is make a mandrel and we're going to make that over on the lathe. And let me kind of sketch out here and show you uh, how we're going to do the work holding. All right, so the inside diameter here is about 690. So I'm going to write that down, 0.690. Uh, we've also got this little uh, step in the back here. That's about uh, one inch, 22 thousandths. And the depth on that is about, let's just call it 0.175 inches deep. So here's what I, I want to do is I'm going to take a piece of stock. We're going to cut down a shoulder here. Okay, this is going to be the... Uh, 1.022 and we're going to have another shoulder that's going to come out. This is going to be the 690 and then um, we'll come out with a little piece here. We're going to thread that and we're going to thread that up. Uh, 5 8 11, which is just a little bit smaller than this diameter. So with that, what I can do is basically take this, we'll slide it up on there. This diameter will fit the centered part here. 
this diameter will fit this uh, uh, diameter. Uh, and then the, the thickness of that's going to be the 0.175. So anyway, we're going to go over to the lathe. We're going to make this mandrel. And uh, then we'll have something to, to mount it with. So this will mount in my, in my um, dividing head in the three-jaw chuck. We'll put a center in this end. And that will be held by the footstock on the dividing head. All right, let's go make this mandrel. And uh, we'll be ready to start cutting some gears. We're set up over here now on the lathe. I have my a piece of blank metal just in a four jaw chuck here. I've already got this indicated in and running true. I'll start removing some metal. See where we're at. It's for about one inch, three hundred thousandths. It's a little over an inch on that first shoulder. That's just a little bit oversized. I'm gonna leave it right now. We'll come back and clean it up um, a little bit later on. close to the diameter on this, so uh, this looks like it's about 690, that inside diameter, and so we're about 14 thousandths large right now. I'm just going to sneak up on it. So I've got this now where it'll come up on that collar. Uh, we need to turn this step down just a little bit. So I actually want that to go up onto that little step. Right now it's not sliding up on there. So I'm gonna fuzz just a little bit off of that. It's real close. I'll tell you the other thing I'm gonna do while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and put a nice uh, straight back, face that back in there. that fuzz across there. I'll hit it with just a little bit of emery cloth. Let's see what it does now. Yeah, it's going right up on there. That's exactly what I want. While I got it here, I'm just gonna mark this front edge. So we're gonna turn that down where we can uh, thread a bolt on the end. Now I'm gonna use a 5 8 inch bolt on this, so that needs to be 0 0.625. We're at about a, 685, so we've got a little bit to take off of that to get that down to size.
about 40 thousandths to go. on the money. All right, I'm going to get set up and we'll go ahead and thread this. I'm going to start out by uh, coming here and just putting some chamfers on these uh, ends. We'll give a nice uh, lead-in angle there. Come in here and uh, put a little chamfer there. Go ahead and hit this one while we're in here. And while this one's not important, I don't want to burr on it. So, all right. We're ready to start cutting here. Cutting our threads. And we'll come in here and just touch off, make my scratch pass, make sure we got uh, everything going like we want it. Okay, zero my compound. And wait for it to come around on a number. And a walk cross will go. Hardly see my scratch pass there, so I think we'll move a little bit deeper. Tell you what, let me uh, take my sharpie. So we're going to try that scratch pass again. I think I can see that one. We're wanting 11 threads per inch. I got my thread pitch gauge here set to 11, and we're right on the money. So let's uh, let's get these cut. I'm going to stop here for just a second, see if that'll thread on there. Yeah, I thought it was going to be just a little bit tight, and it is. One little rule of thumb when I'm threading on blade is when I start seeing a, a, a kind of an it, my points come together at the top, that usually means I'm pretty close. Um, and I usually just go for a test fit. So I'm going to take a couple more thou off. And we're just going to sneak up on it and get it where it needs to be. Let's 
see what that does. I think that's going to be good. All right. So, test fit here, everything together. Put that on, we're gonna put a washer on there. I'm gonna turn that washer down. Put our nut on. Cut this uh, washer down. It doesn't need to be as big as it is. So uh, on this washer. Pull these chips out. Nobody, that looks good. All right, last step here. We need to put a uh, center in the end so that something will can uh, we can put that up on the footstock over there on the dividing head and uh, have it something to ride on. So let me get that in there. Good. All right, I think we're all done with the uh, little jig here to hold my piece while I cut it over on the dividing head. All right, so let's see how we did. There's our chicken scratch sketch. Uh, there's what we actually made. And uh, this should work out just fine. So we've already shown it mounted up on there. So uh, I think we're ready to go put this in the dividing head and start cutting some gears. Well, there you go, one custom mandrel. This is a very common uh, procedure that you have to go to when you're making a custom part. Sometimes you have to make a custom fixture to hold that part in order to do your machining operations. But hey, that's the nice part about having a machine shop. You just go whip this stuff out. You don't have to go somewhere and buy it or have someone else make it for you. So we got our mandrel made. Uh, that's gonna wrap up this video and we'll have another one coming up soon where we cut the gear teeth and with that, well, as always, thank you guys for watching. Leave me some comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you on the next video.